Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? channel i hope that this message find you doing well you have joined me on my digital journey i have been led by the holy spirit to drop your golden nuggets each and every day hello to my family hello to my friends thank you for joining me on my digital journey thank you for your words of encouragement thank you for your support Today is actually day 318. Yep. Day 318, episode 318. So what I'm going to be talking to you today about is the word Seer. S-E-E-R. Seer. When the Holy Spirit brought this word to me, I was like, whoa. And then he gave me the scripture to go ahead and read, which was actually Psalm, 1 Samuel 9. So you can take the opportunity to go ahead and read that um, scripture um, so that when he gave me the definition of seer, I had a better understanding once I read that, ch um, that chapter. Um, because it says a special blessing is promised to those who recognize and receive God messengers. And then he also gave me the scripture of Second Chronicles chapter 20, verses 20. So let me go to that particular chapter, that scripture, and it says, Early in the morning, um, they left for the desert of Tekoa. And as they set out, Jesofa, this Jesofa, I can't even pronounce his word. Jehoshaphat stood and said, listen to me, Judah and the people of Jerusalem, have faith in the Lord, your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets and you will be successful. So there's a special reward for those who pay attention and follow what God messengers tell them to do. So let me give you the definition of seer. And the definition of a seer is, and it's spelled S-E-E-R, is a person who is supposed to be able through supernatural insight to see what the future holds, okay? A person who sees something specified and the way that this happens is because God is the one who gives them that vision God is the one who tells them things so he gives them the message to go tell this person that this is about to happen this is about to transpire and then it is now up to that person to believe what it is that God is saying to them and then now uh, in this century we're talking about Sarah's first thing you're thinking about witchcraft and, and 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 all kind of crazy stuff which has nothing to do with God and his prophets and the supernatural um and, and the realm of the spirit. You know, people like to go left field when we start talking about God and prophets and people who can see things and don't even me talk about people who speak in tongues and it will just be a whole different thing going back and forth because that's just some people they don't believe. Um, and until they actually see something um, that actually happened, then they will be like, oh, AMG. That's the first thing we're like, oh, AMG. Oh my God, it really happened for through. Da, 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 da. And, you know, but it shouldn't have to you to go through that, all that symmetrics. You know, it's either you believe in God or not. You believe that he have messengers on this earth. You believe in angels. You believe in the supernatural. You believe in the spiritual realm. These are the things that, you know, you read in the Bible and you're thinking, well, those are old stories. Like, no, no, no. Those things are relevant now as of this day. Things hasn't changed. You know, people have the same power. 
um, that God did back in the day with, you know, Jesus Christ. And, you know, it's just a lot that God has for us, but you have to take the time to study and get to know God and build that intimate relationship with him. Um, and I am grateful and respected for anyone um, once I can have that spirit of discernment, which I do have, and when God send people my way and they say, hey, this is a message from God, I receive it wholeheartedly because God is source and people are resources and God will use Sears, S-E-E-R, he will send someone to be able to give you a message and are you going to receive it? Go ahead, read the book of Samuel, the message that I told you, what God showed me when he told me about the word Sarah. Go ahead and read it, Samuel 9, and then get the idea of what it is, the gist of what God is trying to bring to you today. Um, it's a, it's a wealth of information. You will gain so much wisdom if you take the time and be serious about God and the kingdom. I mean, I trust, I mean, just trust and believe that God will make it worth your while. I talked about guarantee a um, couple of episodes um, a, 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 a day ago. Let me see which episode that was if I have my notes with me. Um, in reference to guarantee, that was episode 315. And today's episode 318. So, you know, a lot of stuff, promises and stuff that God has is guaranteed for us. The message is, you know, all we have to do is believe and receive. And then you will have so much blessings and rewards that comes your way. Um, come on. It's time that you just get fully on board and, you know, be hungry. You know, hungry for God. Hungry for the Word. Be happy to be learning and growing and have that intimacy with God. I want it for you as I continue to strive for it for myself, okay? I need you to know that the Word of God is definitely true. It proves to be true. And God is a shield. He is to all, not some, but to all of those who come to him for protection. My question to you each, each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread. Mm -hmm.